Tasmania is a, a wonderfully creative state. There are more artists per capita living in Tasmania than any other state in Australia. Uh, and it's not till you get here that you realise just how much talent there is. We lived here in a caravan before we actually built the house, built our little nest here. And always had the studio here though, that was a priority, somewhere to paint. And this place has just never, never ceased providing enough inspiration for me. And I love to paint large. Um, I love that feeling of being surrounded by painting. And also to sort of incorporate the dualistic idea of having intimacy and vastness. Morning sunlight polishes the river silver. Incoming tide, the wet rocks splashed with light. I like to live in this reasonably isolated part of Tasmania because it is very beneficial for my work. The financial pressures are kept at a minimum and therefore it is possible to live an alternative lifestyle which requires a lot of improvisation and I find improvisation is, makes it uh, is a good exercise to work with different mediums. I do clay because I like the smell of the earth. It gives me a connection with the earth. And I like the physical involvement of being with the piece from being transformed from mud to something that will probably last a thousand years. This was based on a cat that um, I used to have called Jody. Sometimes it feels like the world is overpowering me and taking away my, my power to change it. But when I make art, I feel like I can create something that belongs in the world and becomes part of it and stays. So through making it, I can start to create something that I want in the world solidly and, and tangibly and, and feel that I can have a voice and an influence.
Tasmania is uh, you know, steeped in history in, uh, in wood turning and wood carving and furniture making. Our hue and pine is you know, very unique to Tasmania. It's an exceptional carving timber, you know, a bit like cutting cheese. It was like being a kid in a lolly shop for me. To come here and um, explore some of the um, timbers was just wonderful. I really love um, trying out all the different types of grains, patterns and colours that are available in Tasmania. If you represent Tassie, never be retreating from mainland Australia. Never settle for being called a Tasmanian failure. Say that to me and I'll nail ya to the wall. Whether we're in the street or in the mall, I can walk tall with my head held high. With my work, I've always had a type of conflict between what is representational painting, in other words, uh, the picturesque, and what is that uh, about abstraction and the, the free mark and gestural aspect of putting paint on canvas. So it's always been trying to marry these two odd opposites to produce what I consider to be a piece of art. So my work fundamentally is an emotional reaction rather than a cognitive one and I work very instinctively and sometimes I fail, sometimes I feel I win. But at the end of the day, it is this ever-changing flux of light through nature which has inspired me. This is about the magic of dreams. We are the keepers of dreams. I think, um, I think that says it all, really. I'm Tassie proud, and I'll shout it out loud for everyone in Hobart town to listen to the new sound and get down with pride from my birth till my death Tassie will be my life with my baby girls and my woman by my side taking harassment from bogans all in my stride living my life one day at a time my rhymes will never be beat all of us should be proud of our heritage love this place be Tassie proud if you're a Tasmanian shout it out loud don't walk around with a frown smile be proud to live on the devil's eye